since I'm officially in San Diego, I am staying at a very janky hotel, so I am not going to show it off. You know, sometimes it's hit or miss. Today was a miss, and that's okay. I've been pretty exhausted this trip, so I've been kind of lounging around so far. I'm about to get out and explore some of San Diego. First stop is going to be Balboa Park. I've heard a lot about it and excited to see what it has to offer. Balboa Park is a cultural escape right in the city. At 1,200 acres, it includes 17 museums, gardens like the Rose Garden you're about to see, and the iconic San Diego Zoo. Inez Grant Parker Memorial Rose Garden. It is fantastic. It's like its own little oasis away from the city and all. Really peaceful here. Beautiful colors, every single color you can imagine. So I am walking up to Liberty Public Market. It's supposed to have some really cool food venues inside. I have not really had lunch or breakfast today and it's so late in the day. So if you are a foodie, you need to run and not walk to Liberty Public Market. It is like a mini food truck kind of festival. It is so amazing. I truly wish that Nikki was with me, my best friend. Uh, she would have been puzzled at what to eat there. I am going to go back tomorrow because it just had that many options and it had many donuts that I couldn't get. They sold out right before me. All right, it is the end of San Diego, day one. I'm at Emperor Beach just watching the sun go down before I retire back to the room and make my game plan for tomorrow. So enjoy the sunset from California. to San Diego. I'm about to leave the hotel room now. I'm about to go get some breakfast. There's a place called Eggies and I'm dying to try out their breakfast sandwich. So I'm going there first, probably at Liberty Station again. And then after that, I think I'm going to Coronado, but I'm not totally sure, so just stick around. The witch came first. It has fried chicken, cheese, 
and a special sauce. I got it without the pickle. So Eggies to me was not worth the stop. The fried chicken was too grisly. It was barely edible. Um, I am sure that I just had a one-off experience. Other people really love it. So I would still try it out if I were you, but I had a really bad experience. So because breakfast didn't work out, I stopped and got some mini donuts from Liberty Public Market and much better, more delectable. Welcome to Coronado Beach. I drove up north to La Jolla and it is a beautiful coastline. They do have a sea cave here, I believe. So I might check that out. I'm not too sure. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here because I really didn't plan my day out. So uh, enjoy what you see while you can. Those cliffs are not naturally white. They're white from bird crap and it makes it smell horrible. La Jolla is a true visual paradise, a beautiful coastline, wildlife, but also there's a mix of high-end shops and incredible dining choices. Just be aware the sea lions smell horrible, so I'm not sure how people can eat around this area. Hilarious and amazing. Watching the sunset in San Diego is an experience. It's as if the entire city stops, turns her mind off, and just enjoys the beauty of being alive. Yeah, I know it sounds corny, but I don't often see people just stop in everyday life to enjoy it. I loved experiencing this with so many people at Sunset Cliffs. time to say farewell to San Diego. It was a beautiful city. Now I am taking the journey to Joshua Tree National Park, which I'm pretty excited about, but the heat is kind of atrocious out there. Not too excited about that, but just excited to see something new, get out the city, and get more into nature.
After two and a half hours, I am finally at Joshua Tree. I listened to uh, what the guide said at the visitor center here. Use the bathroom quickly. Only have porta potties. Um, but ready to begin the journey in. Saw some Joshua Trees on the uh, on the way in. So excited to see even more and see what else the park has to offer. Especially on my first hike at Joshua Tree. I know nothing about the trek that I'm on. So far, it's really pretty different landscape than I've seen over the last few days. So I do like the Joshua Tree does have these little arrows to keep you on the path. By the way, it is a warm day, making sure to have plenty of water in my backpack, but I did I skipped on the sunscreen, which was not a bright idea. I didn't take any of those trails, uh, mainly because I don't have long in the park and I want to see a few more things. Also, don't watch movies like The Hills Have Eyes before coming to this because it is very dissolute and all you hear is like things behind you because chipmunks run around stuff like that but you never see them so it's kind of creepy. As we're getting deeper into the park, more and more Joshua trees are showing up, creating quite the sight. Uh, the only bad thing is that it is pretty hot out here and there's little shade. Uh, Joshua trees are tall and skinny. Those are two adjectives that do not describe me. You'll see the Joshua trees get even taller. That just signifies that they're even older than the other ones. Said so it's about a growth of about an inch a year. So I found shade in a boulder, taking some time here just to watch the scenery and relax. Street Mill. This trail was not easy to follow. There's so many uh, variations on the path, but I kind of stuck straight through the center of them. And when I thought I was lost, I looked around and I can actually see it in the distance. So not too much further. Quick mile there, mile back. Originally this was inhabited by Native Americans, but eventually milling took over and also the uh, hunt for precious gold. Jim Keyes took that over and finished building what you see behind me now. He died in 1969 and also he was a murderer. So I'm trying to find the actual gravestone of the person he killed, which is somewhere around here. I will find it and report back. tombstone is gone but the tombstone signified where keys shot his opposer with bagley killing him and also he was sentenced to prison served time and then when he got out came back to live out the rest of his life in a moment of honesty i got lost i still might be lost we'll see
I am on my way out of Joshua Tree National Park. It was great, um, something new to look at. I think experiencing either sunrise or sunset here would be amazing, um, but I just don't have a lot of time. My flight leaves first thing in the morning, so I wanna go ahead and sign off of here. I still gotta drive a little bit to my hotel tonight, but if you have a chance to come to Joshua Tree, please do. It is amazing. I'm underselling it. I know I've just experienced so much this trip that I'm not giving this park its fair credit. But please come. Please enjoy. I'm signing out. I will see you next time, I believe, in Texas. You already know what to do. Like, comment, and why haven't you already subscribed?